Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last video, we have seen how to use inheritance concepts in Python. And in this video, we will see how the constructors are used in Python. Okay. So now what I will do, I will just delete this class C and the other program which I have written. Now there are two classes, class A and class B. Okay. Let's assume this class A has a constructor. So I will write one constructor here. So after this, what I will do, I will just go ahead and type def. And for the constructor, we have to type underscore underscore in it self. And here I can just print. This is constructor for class A, right? And let me now create two objects. So one object will be of A class. Okay, and if I say a dot show one, so that's mean I am calling a method of the a class, but because this is a constructor which is given, this constructor should also be called besides the method. Okay, so if I do right click and run that, you will see I am getting this is a constructor for class a, and now after that, I am getting this is from class a. Okay, so that's mean this constructor. So when I say parenthesis, when I have defined that, that's mean I am calling a constructor also. Okay, and when I say a dot show one, that's mean I am calling a, a method also. Okay, now in the same way, what I will do, I will create a object of the class B. So I will say B equal to B. And here, if you see that I have not defined any constructor here, right? And if I say that B dot show two, and if I run that, you will see that for the class A, the constructor was called. For the class B, there is no constructor. So basically in this B, there is no constructor which we have defined. But I just want to tell you, whenever there is no constructor defined, internally it means that a blank constructor has been created for class B. Okay. Now what I will do, this is a class B. I will create A as its parent. Okay. So A is a parent of B now. B is a child. And now if I run that program, same program, you will see that it will it has called the constructor a when I've created the object of class a but for B also it has called the constructor of class a so that's mean if there is no constructor in class B and if B has a parent after that there will be no blank constructor it will be go ahead and pull the constructor of this class so it will call this class by default automatically so this is the beauty of Python this is the way how you should write your program and this is how the constructor are called when there is a parent child relationship so if you see that b does not have any constructor but a is the parent because of that the parent constructor is called now let's assume that b has its own constructor also so i will just hit on enter i will just copy this line of code and i will print it under the b and here i will say this is a constructor of class b now let's see a difference between the two okay if I do a right click and run that, now you will see for A, it says that it is a constructor of A. For B, it says that it's a constructor of B. Even that B has a parent, it will not call the constructor of the parent class because B already have its own constructor here. Okay. Sometimes it might possible that even that, you know, uh, it has its own constructor, even though you want to call the constructor of the parent class. What you will do, there's a keyword called super. So what I will do, I will type super here okay and here i will say init i will call the init method so it will call the super class of the this child so that's mean it will call this a class and in that it will call this constructor now if i run that you will see that in the b it has called first the parent class constructor and the child class constructor okay and uh, this is the way how the constructor works in Python and the similar concept is also applied to the methods here so that's mean if two classes has the same method name and if it is inherited by a, another method so what I will do I will just remove the constructor from here just so that there's no confusion okay all right well, let me remove this constructor also and I make it as two separate classes and uh, yeah so here what I will do the method name I have to make it same so what I will do let's 
say that there's a class A, there's a method show in there, there's a class B, there's a method show there also. Let me remove this also. And now we are creating a class C. Okay, class C. And uh, the C class is inheriting A, comma B. Okay, and here I am calling a program which say diff show okay and I will just print this is from C okay or I can make it as a show from C okay let me put it into the parenthesis okay now what I will do I will create a object of this so I will say C equal to C and I will call that C dot C now I have two things which I can see if I say C dot show from C and if I run that it will just give me this is from C but if I say that C dot show so now here we don't know the show is coming from which class so if I say show so we have to make sure where this show is coming from because this show method is in two of the classes that is in class A and class B and now what you will what you can suggest that what it can come so let's see that uh, how, when we run the program does it call the show of a B or does it call show of a A because my C is inheriting both and we don't know right now which show is calling we are right now so when I run that program and click on run it say this is from class A so that's mean by default it is taking the show of a class A and not the show method of a class B why it happened because of the concept used as MRO in Python in which if we have a handful of the classes it will go from the left to the right so if the method names are common in that case the it will take the method from the class which is coming at the left hand side and after that it will go for the class which is coming at the right hand side that is way that is the why it has taken the show method of the a class and that's how the constructors also were used from the class a by default okay so this is a concept of the constructor and mro in python i hope this video will make some concepts clear about this inheritance and this constructor in python all right so thank you for watching this video have a great day